Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're installing the smartphone ram mount in a 5th gen 4Runner. Jimmy Jet here from Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're installing the ram mount X grip for the smartphones. It's a great grip. It holds the phone really well and it's very versatile. You can choose to go portrait or landscape. Then we have the one inch ball adapter to the threaded end. We're gonna mount this back here on the 5th gen 4Runner right behind the steering wheel on the side of the dash. This is gonna give us great visibility, also give us room to move our hands around without having any interference. You can use this install as well as a dash removal since we're gonna to have to remove the dash to get the screw in on the back side here. Step one is removal of the dash. We're gonna remove the lower section first. They're just snapped in, so what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna grab the dash with our two hands and we're gonna pull it apart. And it just pops off and then we can do that same thing to the other side and now that's the lower section of the dash there's one clip here on the back side two clips one clip so what we did is we unsnapped this part here and then we can just unclip the wires from the dash we can remove this section so there's four 10 millimeter bolts down here right on the underside of this dash when we're going to remove it. We already took three out and here's the last one. Now what we're going to do is this just unsnaps just as before. Just be gentle with it. You don't want to break any of the clips. And then we can pull this off slowly. And we've got the whole dash back there with all the electrical for the deck unit. So we're just going to lay this to the side right now. Using a sharpie, we put a really small dot down here that's really hard to see. But we got that spot by putting the ram mount at about the angle that we were looking for and pushing it nearly as far back as we could go. We didn't want it to hit the dash in any way. And then we figured out where, that, where it's hitting on the dash, right down there where the silver part is. And then we marked that. So now when we pull this dash apart again, we're gonna be able to have the point at which we're gonna drill a hole through there. We're gonna do a quick little pilot drill hole first. Nice and easy since this is soft plastic. There we go. Now we're gonna to change to a bigger bit. Now that we've drilled the pilot hole, we're gonna use a bigger bit, step it out a little bit so we can fit that bolt in there. So we threaded the bolt a little ways through the dash and now we're just going to put the ball on just to make sure that just snug it up a little bit and then we're just going to put this back together and make sure it all fits we're not colliding with anything. Oh that's perfect. That's golden. Yeah. There's the ball there. Plenty of room all around, doesn't hit anything. Plenty of room underneath, it's gonna be perfect. Now that we've tightened the bolt up on the back and the mount is completely secure, we're now gonna push the deck back in and start putting everything back together. Just did a final check for the phone mount. Everything's clear, tons of room, everything looks great. There's grip loads of space underneath here and we can. there's a lot of versatility where that you mount this. If, you un, if I undo it a little bit here, that's tightening. If I undo it here, you can see I can move it around in a bunch of area. Lots of variability in this mount, which is really nice. I like going up a little bit and inwards towards the dash. Um, but you can definitely move it out towards the steering wheel if you want for better visibility in that area. But it's really cool how much room, how much variable there is in this mount. So now what we're going to do is button up the bottom side of the stash, put these bolts back in, put, um, snap the bottom section in, and we're done. Last snap, last snap, last <laughs> snap. <laughs> so after snapping the electrical back on, now we are going to be putting this part back in place slowly making sure you're putting it in properly with the clips there we go 
Ram mount is installed, dash is back together. Super happy with the way this came out, it's super clean. I'm gonna grab one of these for Bobcat. Snail trail four by four.